What is up, guys? Brady with Mini Tech Clips. And I'm actually back, you know, shocker, I'm actually making a video. But uh, before we get into this, I just want to say thanks for a thousand subscribers. We're actually at like 1,000, almost 1,200 now, so that's pretty cool. But um, I'm here with my brother Ben, and uh, he's going to be doing another video on his watch. It's, he got a Samsung, uh, what, what, what is it? Gear Fit 2 Pro. Yeah, he, he got that. Um, slid into Best Buy, copped one of those, and here we are. So, Ben. So, with this watch, so here's an overview. You have the band right here, which is actually a pretty good material. <clears throat> it's nice and sturdy. Got the heart rate monitor right there. Wait, what is the band? Silicone or something? Yeah, I think so. Got the magnetic pins for charging. And with the charging stand, it can go either way. It can go this way or... <laughs> that way well, you, you have this type of style you know you put it in show them on your wrist okay it's like that because I know I know with the normal gear fit too it was kind of like the Apple watch where it, it it goes in and it fell out so that's why I didn't get that one plus is so this runs out for about 200 bucks I think it's really good. The screen is one and a half inches tall. And I don't know if you can see on camera. So I don't, you, I'm assuming you can see that. There are some pretty deep scratches. I put it in my hockey bag because you know, I had hockey at how, practice. How long have you had this? Uh, about two months. Okay. So it happened probably a couple of weeks ago. I had it in my hockey bag. And then when I pulled out, there was these super deep scratches. I don't know how it happened, but this uh, this screen can scratch pretty easily. A lot easier than I expected. Now on the inside, right here, the small button is kind of like your home button. Right here. And this is the back button, just like a lot of other Android phones. Wait, let's get that right up close. There so which, which one is home? The small, the small one right here. And this is the back button right there. Now here's the home page that shows the clock and everything. And if you swipe to the right, you get our notifications. And then if you swipe to the left, you can get weather and calendar, heart rate and all that stuff. And you can add more. You can customize it. I also have the small button. It's also like in the app button. So if I click the small button, I can get all these apps. You can sort it however you want. So with music, one cool feature is that you can play music. Like let's say you forget your phone or your phone is dead and it's charging. You can still play music using this. You can connect your headphones in. Bada bing, bada boom, you're listening to music. So in other words, if you have headphones plugged into your phone, like wireless earbuds, you can play it from your watch. Yes. Okay. That's one feature that I've actually used a couple of times. They got weather, it's pretty useful, timer, stopwatch, and all this fitness stuff, you know, un Under Armour, my fitness pal, Speedo. So with this watch, you can go over 100 feet in water. I don't know why 50 anyone... 50 meters, that's what, 150 feet probably. Yeah, I don't know why anyone would go that deep, but... Well, you can you can take it swimming now, No no worries. And if you're really into swimming, was this app, you know, it's like a swim pool, how many meters it is. Let's go back. So what else? You got schedule, which no it'll That's just it'll your Google give you calendar. A yeah. That's your that's your Google calendar. So if you have something plugged into your Google calendar, it'll pop up a reminder on your watch. Yes. And let's see, steps. It's actually pretty accurate on how many steps. I haven't really worn it today. I forgot to wear it. Maybe we were out shopping and this kid forgot it. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty accurate. So that's really cool. It's nice and accurate. It doesn't like when you step once, it doesn't count it twice. So uh, I don't really use some of these apps like caffeine. I don't I don't use that. With the heart rate, it's pretty simple. You can measure it. I measure mine right now. It takes a couple seconds to load. Well, I, find I was say, are you dead or what? <laughs> I find this a little bit inaccurate sometimes. 
Why is that? Well, sometimes it's like one time I press it at, I, I use it, and it says it's at 100. Then like 10 seconds later, it says it's like 80. So, and you're just sitting there doing nothing the whole time? Pretty much. So the, the heart rate is a little bit inaccurate, but it's not that big of a deal. Ooh, floor tracking. That, it's actually good at that. So last week, you know, 11 floors, those are the days I completely forgot to wear it. <laughs> I get 11 and all that stuff. You can set your own goals to help keep you fitness stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're the skinny kid that doesn't need that fitness. <laughs> yeah, and you can get all these cool styles. I like the Fitness Pro 3. Get this one. I had this one for a while. Oops. Oops. Oh, jeez. I'm stupid. Some of them, like, show the weather and time, and some of them don't, like. Like, this one This one doesn't show the weather. This one doesn't even show a whole lot except the time, date, and how many steps. Oopsies. Uh, this one. Uh, it just shows steps. I guess it shows the time. But, I don't know. Yeah. You, you can also download a bunch of stuff. Oops. Wait, how's the vibration feedback on it, the watch? Oh yeah, the vibration feedback is pretty good. Want to get notifications on your phone? Like, I'm not from the NHL. It it vibrates on this within like two seconds later, and it, it you can select how you want it. You can dive into the settings. Let's play vibration. You can have a long buzz. It's a it's a normal buzz. I like to have that long because I don't want that. I'll go back to my other one. Now, within the two months I've had it, the speed has been, it's been pretty good. You know, when I first uh, got it, within like a week, I had, uh, you know, typical Samsung leg, but. So, as I was saying, with speed, it's been pretty good within the two months. It's It's been, it's been great. And it cost 200 bucks. I actually got it for 150 uh, back in September, I think. I don't know. So, 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 yeah, I got it for pretty cheap, and I'd say this is good. You should get it. <laughs> All right, hope you enjoyed. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll be coming out with more videos soon, like more videos where I actually do stuff or show stuff, whatever. And uh, See that deep drop, scratch? Drop a like and subscribe. Don't scratch your watch. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>